Guys, we are gonna be unboxing the new 4K Pro capture card. I've done my best to crop my cat out who is literally like right, <laughs> right here. Let the cat um, unbox it. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll make him part of the unboxing. We'll zoom out just a little bit. There we cat go. Cat not included. Cat not included. So this is the Tough Gaming Capture Box 4K Pro. It's our new capture box basically for HDMI 2.1 and pushing into, um, well, you know, the next level of, of gaming and streaming and capturing because uh, this is actually a product before we had even announced it, before I even knew internally that this existed, that I was asking for it. Because before me is the PG42 UQ. It's a it's a 42-inch 4K OLED gaming display that goes up to 130 hertz, so 130 FPS. I was gaming on it with the Ally and the XG Mobile. Now, the Ally and the XG Mobile, that's a 4090 uh, inside the XG Mobile enclosure that connects to my Ally. So I was playing um, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and I was capped at 4K60 because I was capturing with my CU 4K30 capture box. That's the pre. Oh, that's the FHD 120, but CU yeah, 4K30. Same, same, same form factor. Same form factor, but the CU 4K30 um, was limiting me to 60 FPS, and I was like, okay, that's the max pass through I can get. Um, wasn't quite doing the job. No longer a problem here as this will go up to 4K 120. Uh, actually, no, 4K 144. So the full 100, I haven't used it yet. 4K 144 for um, the 138 hertz on this display will be able to achieve that full frame rate, capturing, streaming, and everything all at once. And it will work with other displays too. So if you have a, a like a 2K monitor, it can also go up to 144 hertz, capture that. And if you're gaming at 1080p, you can capture up to 240 uh, frames per second which is okay I'm just sorry. awesome he's pawing at himself i just <laughs> think it's what are you doing bud he's just very amused by this this is actually is just a cat stream now <laughs> so yes you got you've got uh a lot of options with this in terms of passing through and then for sorry that's so that, all that's for passing through and then you can stream uh 4k 60 2k up to 120 and full hd up to 120 mm-hmm uh -huh. And this is all through a USB 3.2 Gen 2 connection, but you can pass through all the way up to 4K 144 hertz. So that's cool. Um, really nice if you are going to be gaming on, or streaming on a platform that supports uh, 120 frames per second. Um, yep. I know um, YouTube does currently, I believe. Twitch does not, but we're we're still waiting with our fingers crossed. Let's I go. know they they've like talked about it in the past, and it's it's only a matter of time before um, we actually truly get it. But um, currently, it is just really YouTube and the major platforms that does that. So you just showed off the FHD 120, which is the old form factor. This is the it's new form slightly factor, slightly different shape we got here and, and color. This is actually more of a black. It's a much much oh. darker. It's not a. F I, I don't know if I'd call it like. It's like darker than gunmetal gray, but not jet black exactly on the top because it's like a black metal. I guess it's black. Definitely black on the sides. Um, same inputs. You got the headphone jack and you've got your controller port here on the front. Tough gaming logo with a little ARGB bar on the bottom. That's going to show you basically your status indicator for your devices. And then the type C HDMI out and then the HDMI in for that pass through and then running to your device. Um, so, so IO wise, it's very, very similar to what yep. we've had in the past. It just supports the latest standards. And but that art, the inclusion of the the ARGB strip is pretty cool, especially if you want to kind of display it on your desk. And it actually does have that utility because it shows uh, the status. Um, certified OBS compatibility on this, so you know that it's going to work cleanly. And it can also pass through. We didn't mention this before, but it can pass through VRR. So if mm. you're playing on like a, a free sync monitor or something like that, again, you're not giving that up by passing your video through this, which is really nice. Yeah, that's definitely really good for um, if you're using a laptop, there's a lot of devices that really need to have that certification. Um, finish the unboxing here by opening up all the cables. Of course, we've got the various manuals inside here. Um, who reads those? Not me. But um, I always download the manuals online and then save them in a folder in my Dropbox so that I can quickly access them whenever I need them. Oh, I just Google them, Google model name and then manual whenever I need it because it's not like they get deleted. <laughs> so the other, um, so the, the outer shell is made of aluminum, so it dissipates heat uh, and kind of keeps it durable. I believe the old ones oh. might actually be plastic on the top, so that's a nice improvement I as well. 
I don't know if our old model came with an aux cable. Um, well, there you go. And that's actually something that I specifically ended up buying third party because it's like, oh man, I don't have an aux cable, and I went out of my way and bought one. I I can't now remember. You do. Yeah, this is great though. I'm really happy to see this included. That's a big deal for. You, you never want to buy a product and then have to buy a different cable, right? I recently bought a soundbar and then I had to buy an optical cable to go with it because that's what we I want to use. We were just talking about this before yeah, the stream. <laughs> but it's just like they don't they don't include it with the device and that always kind of frustrates me. That's because me. no one uses optical anymore except I know. Me, and now you, apparently. I still love optical. The really nice thing, I, I also really appreciate where devices like this specifically come with HDMI cables. Three and a half millimeter, you can buy any three and a half millimeter cable and it's probably going to work. With HDMI cables, because you have all of these different standards now uh, and you want the cables to support the full bandwidth, you know that the cables that come with it are going to work with the device. And mm -hmm. if they don't, for some reason, you can go straight back to us, the manufacturer, and say, hey, the cable you sent me doesn't work. Why it's not like when you buy a cable on Amazon and then you're you're playing a guessing game as to which link in the chain is the problem. This cat, man. Um, does it support HDR? I believe so. Uh, yes, probably HDR. Uh, yeah, it should support HDR pass-through and um, should be able to capture it as well, though I actually don't know that off the top of my head. I haven't used it. Um, yeah, so, okay, 4K 144 HDR pass-through. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see anything about capturing HDR. Um, That's interesting, yeah. Um, I'd have I've, to double -check I've literally never tried doing that because for the longest time... HDR if, wasn't even supported in OBS, but now it is. Right. So, like, if you're going to be streaming, you're not going to be able to stream in HDR anyway. Um, you would have to tone map it through OBS anyway because right. Twitch and things like that don't, as far as I know, But don't HDR pass through HDR. is big, though. That's something you definitely want to have, and it's there. Yeah, that's really nice. So that, that, that way you can still experience HDR while you're streaming to your audience or whatever. So. Um, yeah, so those lighting effects are customizable. Um, you can uh, turn on, I think, different different like lighting effects, but also it'll like it'll be green when it's in standby mode for USB two. It'll show like the color will tell you which USB like Jen it's using, which is also really nice. Um, it'll flash red when it's updating the firmware. All really nice to know. This um, cat yeah. just he just scratched my acoustic panels and then ran away. What? Yeah. The, what the jerk? A jerk. He's being so cute. Uh, look up and he's scratching it. Um, anyways, sorry for derailing and the stream with the cat. Okay. And it's compatible with, obviously, PCs and game consoles. If, yep. you know, you're one of those people. One, maybe, maybe. Why not both, right? You want to use it for both? both? It works for any situation you want. Pair it with your ally. Pair it with your laptop. Pair it with your console. It's great for you all those things. some ally streams going on. Yeah. Um, bring, bring bring back the, it's, you know, with Starfield, you want to play it on a big PC, but. Right. I want to push I'm, the performance. I'm finishing up another list of some ally games that uh, we recommend. And so maybe there'll be something worth checking out in there. Yeah. It's been, anyway. I guess it's been a couple weeks since we've had an ally stream, but it hasn't been terrible. Well, we've got or... Starfield. Yeah. Starfield's kind of taken over. It's, it's gonna just like, it's going to be a while. We were at Gamescom and then it was just an onslaught of, of new games and I've been gaming on the Scar 17 and my desktop. But oh, very nice. Well, um, and we've got uh, we've got the G14, the new G14 coming our way now. So it arrived we'll today. Actually, be able to. Oh well, there you go. Yeah, Jake is going to send that straight to me, and then we can unbox it on stream and talk about some of the new features because yeah. it is it is a refresh this year, but it is a big refresh. I'm very, very, very. I don't think I've ever been as excited about a gaming laptop as I am for this G14. So. Yeah. So anyway, we're derailing now, but that is the <laughs> Tough Gaming Capture Box 4K Pro. Yep. So I mean, you can uh, pick you this about... up. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. What is it? Three feet uh, on the on the USB C cable. Um, aux cable looks to be similar, and then HDMI about the same. Um, comes with the single HDMI. Typically, you're going to have the other HDMI cable from whatever your other device is. So if you're using a console. You're going to have the HDMI cable already. So you're pretty much set up to use this to its full effect. And I cannot wait. I mean, I'm maybe I'll, maybe I'll use this tomorrow. Maybe I'll set up the XG Mobile with the Ally and play Starfield on the big screen. But that sounds brutal. That means I'd have to use a controller. Oof. 
Oof, that's the problem. Hey, with you Starfield. know, if you're just ex- exploring, controller's not bad. It's only when you get into yeah. combat that you, you and I start to break. Yeah, down but I'm always controller. killing things. I can't let those random creatures survive. They all must die. <laughs> it's just science. Um, so, so the tough uh, gaming video capture card uh, is available. Ooh, no. I don't think it's available just yet in the U.S., but there is a link in the description of this video for more info, and you can go check that out and keep an eye on when it will be available in your region. Um, Ultra high-speed HDMI cable. I'm trying to verify if the cable itself is HDMI 2.1. I would guess yes, but let's... So uh, it, the way HDMI cables work, it's not called an HDMI 2.1 cable. HDMI 2.1 is a standard for the port. The <laughs> cables are called high-speed HDMI, ultra-high-speed HDMI, things like that, that determine so the bandwidth that's this capable was called, of. This is ultra-high-speed HDMI. So Yes, that is the highest available that you want if you are trying to make the use of the full bandwidth of HDMI 2.1. Beautiful. So yes... You are all set with the cable in the box. Yep. So, yes, check out the link in the video description if you want to learn more. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. We will see you next time.